God bless you all, each and every one person who's here. Um, my name is Jason Winter, I'm from Stafford Church. And before I say anything, it's, it's a privilege to be here first. Because at the end of the day, I've come here to listen to God's Word. But before I, I became a Christian, roughly about two years now, just after Christmas, a lot of the good friends, or brothers now, but at the time I classed them as really good friends of mine, used to come to me all the time telling me about the Lord and I keep asking me to come to church and I, I never say yes I would and I never say no I wouldn't but each time they come though I know they only come to me because they wanted to speak to me they wanted to say Jason the Lord's here for you please come because he'll, he'll give you a good life but when they, when they go out the door I, I, I know how they'd look at me and say Jason, there's, there's something here special for you. And I, 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 they'd go and that was that. And, but I always know when they went, they had summit. I could tell that by looking at the faces. They'd come in my place smiling and having a laugh and a joke and they'd go. And this one day out of the blue, our pastor Sam Ipsley come to me and he just said to me, Jason, we've prayed for you. And he only come for five minutes and he went. And out of the blue, I said to my, my wife, Shannon, I said, I, I can't believe that. You know, sometimes you can get a person who can come to you and tell you about the Lord. They might tell you for half an hour. But this time, it was only for literally five minutes. But uh, it, in five minutes, he just spoke to me. And then I went to church on the Sunday in, in Stafford. And I liked it. And then I went three times. And as I went on that third time, I remember being at the, at the back and my heart was doing oh, 100 miles an hour. My heart was beating so fast, I thought, whatever's wrong with me here, do you know what I mean? I thought, this must be the time. And then it's like my legs wanted to walk for me. And I know it was my time. God called me that, that specific day, I know that. Because I know now, and as I've learned being a Christian, that God's timing is perfect timing. And I know that, do you know what I mean? But well, as I've grown in the Lord, each day it's not easy being a Christian, but it's the right thing to do. God helps us each and every day. I get up every day and I know that the day that God sends, he helps me that little bit more. He'll, he'll speak to me, he, he takes silly things out of my life. Swearing like Peter said earlier on, I noticed that where it went. But I was always a worrier, a migrant, or a stress, if you want to put it that way. If it was going out walking, you, you couldn't get a job, or you'd be stressed to get through the job to get paid. But when you come to the Lord, He takes all things off you. He, he, contentment is a wonderful gift from God. You can't, nothing can pay for that. I don't care where you go, nothing in the world can pay for contentment. Nothing in the world can pay for peace. When you go on... You go on to bed and you, and you can put your head on that pillow and you, you can just go to sleep, can't you? But at the end of the day, God helps you through your walk. You pick up your cross and you have to keep going. There's many days I fall, I know I know that, to be honest with you, but I know God loves me and I try my best for God. Each every day what he sends, I try my best, as best as I can to keep walking with him. But each time if I fall, I always think of John 14 verse 6, that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And I know for a fact, Jesus is the way, and he is the truth, and he is your life. Because he gives you a life. He'll give you the best life you've ever had. You, if you're not a Christian, you think that you've got a life. I thought that until I met the Lord. And when I met him, trust me, he gave me a life. My wife saved. I've got two teenage daughters who are saved. We've all been baptised. And we try our best each and every day. I get up and I try my best. And all I can say to God is I give him the glory for what he's done for me and my family. And I praise him each time we go to church. And we do our best. But I, I know now, before I was a Christian, that in my life I was only existing. Well now I know in my new life in Christianity, because the old man's gone... I've got a meaning in my life, and that's my salvation. Nothing can pay for that. No money can pay for it. But God can find you, and when God calls you, He's there for you, for each and every one of us. And all I can say is, I give God the glory for it, 
And I'd like to say God bless to every single man who was sitting here, well, and every brother who was sitting here, more importantly. God bless each and every one of us.